Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Did you know you can support the channel by joining? Or join my Patreon? Something to think about. Now onto the stories. Case fall number 976, written by Daughter of Israel. The traffic lights that froze the world. My mom and I had just finished shopping for groceries together, and I was driving her home. As I'm driving down this busy street, the car in front of us slows down for the upcoming red light, as one does, and I do as well. Pretty standard and normal. I'm now stopped behind the car in front of me, which was the first car in the line of cars that had formed at the traffic light. I had just paused a YouTube video that was in my recommended list that was playing for my mom called Black Magic to Hack the Matrix. Between the both of us, my mom and I have experienced a number of strange things throughout our lives and lately, I've been feeling prompted to look into what they could mean. With that being said, I've been researching everything from magic to aliens to time travel, you name it. So that's literally all my mom and I talk about every single day. We always joke that if anyone were ever to walk into any of our conversations, they'd think we were clinically insane. Anyways. When the algorithm recommended that specific video for me to watch earlier that day, I listened to a few minutes of it, but then decided to wait and play it on the ride home so that we could discuss it together. So when we got in the car, I queued up the video and we listened to a good portion of it before I paused it in order for us to dissect something that the YouTuber was talking about. This is when the light turned green. I sat there, foot still on the brake, waiting for the car in front of me to accelerate, but they didn't. The car next to it, in the next lane over, didn't either. Weirdly enough, the cars in the two lanes on the opposite side of the street took off as soon as our light turned green, which synced up to the traffic light on the side of the street I was driving on. I've driven down the street on either side, or from either direction if you will, several times, and the lights always turn green at the same time. So at first I thought that maybe there was something in front of the cars that I just wasn't seeing that was preventing them from going forward. But like I said, I was the second car in line. I could see beyond the car in front of me and the car in front of the car next to me. There was nothing blocking either of their paths. Additionally, not a single person hawked to get their attention. Now, that might not sound like a big deal, but road rage is off the charts in my city. People will literally curse you out for having the audacity to take a moment to look both ways while driving through an intersection, instead of immediately accelerating as soon as the light turns green. A man just recently pulled a woman from her front car at a traffic light and beat her so badly that he gave her two black eyes and a broken nose. I wish I was joking. So my mom and I were just sitting there, completely bewildered for what felt like forever, but couldn't have been more than maybe about 90 seconds. It just felt very eerie and weird, like a pause button had been pressed. Then, all of a sudden, at the same time, the two cars took off as if the light had just turned from red to green. My mom and I both looked at each other like, what the F? And the rest of the cars around us proceeded to gently accelerate as well. I say that because, like I explained, due to the insane amount of road rage here, People will do crazy things like speed up just to cut you off if you make them wait at a traffic light for what they felt was an unreasonable amount of time. But nope, it was as if everyone else also didn't notice that the light had been green for quite a bit of time. As we were now driving down the street again, I asked my mom if she thought we'd witnessed some sort of time glitch or an illusion or something. She vehemently agreed that she couldn't think of any other explanation for what had just happened. Then, I unpause the video for us to continue listening to it, and do you know what the first sentence was that came out of the YouTuber's mouth? These were her exact words. We live in a magical world. We live in a world full of illusions. I had literally just asked my mom if she thought we'd witness an illusion. Strange. Case notes are file 976. The traffic lights that froze the world. Yeah, the story about a woman being taken from her car and beat just because of a traffic situation. I swear people go absolutely insane when behind the wheel of a car. Or any vehicle, I guess. Some like a actual possession going on. Vehicular possession. <laughs> I don't know if there's an actual spirit responsible for that or just human nature. 
when you're behind the wheel of uh, something so powerful. Your mind, you just lose your mind. I don't know. I don't really like to drive myself. There's just something kind of crazy. Taking for granted the fact that you're driving around in a ton of steel going at 60 or over miles an hour. A single mistake and you kill yourself or someone else just in a flash. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. I prefer motorcycles because there's less risk to other people. You know, one thing I'm very excited about is uh, Tesla. Well, it's not just Tesla, but they're the pioneers really for self-driving cars. I don't want it to be mandatory. If people want to drive themselves, that's cool. But for other people like myself who'd rather just be driven, that's very cool. Just punch in where you want to go and it does all the work. Level 5 autonomous driving. You know, you can uh, put on a movie, go to sleep, wake up, and you're at your destination. That's awesome. Actually, kind of a tangent just real quick. Uh, Tesla is designing automatic plug-in robots. Basically, you pull up to a charging station and there's a robotic arm that will plug into the car automatically. So you can plug, it your, plug in your route, pay for the electricity in advance, and it will self-drive the whole way and even charge itself along the way. That's pretty damn amazing. I can't wait until that's a reality. It's still probably 5 to 10 years away, but it'll get there. Anyways, moving on to the actual glitch here. What I wonder is if it's just down to perception. What was the perception of the people in the cars around you? Did they perceive the same thing like you were stuck and not moving? Whereas everyone else was just normal flow? Or they just didn't realize anything odd happened at all? In one instant it was normal, red light, and then it was green? To them there was no difference. Maybe it's just down to perception. There was some, some kind of anomaly that affected the people in that area. But not across the street. That traffic was flowing normally. So everyone in the area around you was affected by some sort of space-time warping that reduced the flow of time. But only from the perspective of outsiders, not within real time. The problem is there's no absolute time, which is a hard concept to grasp your head around. Even now, I don't really understand it myself, not intuitively. It doesn't really make sense. But I think the best way to, the best way to phrase it is that perception is king. So there is objective reality. But how we perceive it can affect everything for us. Because of course, regardless of what objective reality is, we can only see it and f feel it from our own senses unless we devise other mechanisms to uh, observe it, take data. Case file number 977, written by Watfer. Free medicine. Hi everyone, this happened four days ago. If there's any typo, my bad. English is not my first language. I'm asthmatic, therefore I use two different inhalers. The ones I can only order again when there's around two weeks left of medication. If I were to request another one when there's more than two weeks left, I need to have an appointment with my doctor to explain what happened. My inhaler is on the right side of my bed, just next to my head. When new medication arrives, it stays in the medicine drawer Mind you that I hate drawers and doors that are open with all my soul that's close to my bedroom window. So explain how I woke up with that drawer open because that means someone was there looking around. But to my surprise, there was a package of one of my inhalers closed, brand new. The thing is that the only one I was still using had two months worth of medication left. I checked on my account for medication and there wasn't any information of new nor repeated medication by any mistakes. No messages from the nurse or doctor. Nobody. I'm grateful because nowadays they take forever to bring my medication and I had a few occasions that I didn't have my main inhaler and had to literally survive with the emergency one. Two days ago, the exact same thing happened but this time the medication had one month worth of medication. I repeat the same process as before and there's nothing to be found. Case notes are file 977, free medicine. Yeah, not too much to say on this one. I would say um, it's awesome that you got free medication, especially given that wherever you live, you can't get extra for whatever reason. Uh, you have to wait until you only have two weeks left, which seems dangerous to me. At least bump it up to a month, but I guess now you don't have to worry about that. You have a perpetual buffer of at least a couple months now, or a month and a half or something. Very good. Happy for you on that. It does seem more directed, willed, than just random duplication event. So maybe there was some force that directed you to have extra. Maybe you'll need it in the future. Keep it on you. It's almost dinner time for me, so that's exciting. I'll have something tonight with uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. 
Yeah. <laughs> like the video, subscribe, hit the bell. See you tomorrow.